What used to be the Object Manager Docker in previous versions of CorelDRAW is now called the Objects Docker in CorelDRAW 2019. The intuitive interface of this new Docker makes it easy to find elements within your design, and the new View Mode options enable you to choose which objects you want displayed in the Docker at any point during your workflow. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial. I have this two-page document open, and I'll open the Objects Docker, where I have a list of every element in the document, on every layer, and on every page. Highlighting an object selects it in the document, switching pages if needed. I can use Shift to select a consecutive set of objects, or the Control key to select one by one, as long as the selected objects are on the same page. Perhaps the most noticeable new feature of this docker is the thumbnail preview of each object, whether the object is a group, curve, shape, etc. This makes it much easier to find a specific element in my document. Even identical objects, such as the sprinkles inside this donut, can be identified by differences in size or orientation. Thumbnail previews update in real time, so if I select an object and change its color, that color updates immediately in the preview as well. I can adjust the size of these thumbnails with the slider at the bottom of the docker. Down here I also have options to add new layers or master layers, or to delete objects or layers that are selected in the docker. For most of the objects and layers listed here, the rename option was used to assign identifying names rather than the default group or curve or shape name. This makes it easy to use the search field at the top to filter the list to show specific objects. For example, if I enter ice, I'll get all of the objects with ice in their names across both pages. Clearing the search field brings back the entire list. Drag and drop is also enabled in this docker. I can change the order, such as placing the impact shape below the rectangle or I can move this shape to page two. I can also reorder objects within groups or move objects out of a group or into a group. When I hover over an object, I get icons for hiding and locking. If I hide an object, its visibility icon remains displayed even when I'm not hovering. I can click the icon again to show the object. Locking objects is similar. The lock icon remains displayed. I can re-click the lock to toggle it off. Guides and layers have an additional icon to enable print and export. By default, this is off for guides and on for layers. I can also hide or lock layers and guides. The new icons across the top of the objects docker can be used to adjust the list view. The default view is pages, layers, and objects, which shows everything across all pages. Layers and objects shows everything on the active page, and I can change the page here. View Pages shows each page, without listing what's on the page. This is useful for navigating throughout multi-page documents. Another improved feature is wireframe colors. On page one, I'll click the color bar for layer one and change it to blue, and change layer two to red. Now, if I switch my view to wireframe, objects on these layers will appear in the colors I've set. To make this switch, I'll press Ctrl while clicking the color bar for layer 1. Now everything on layer 1 is reduced to a blue outline, while layer 2 remains fully displayed. I can also switch layer 2 to its wireframe view. This is a great way to check whether all of my objects are on the correct layers. To go back to color view, I'll Ctrl click the color bars again. The context menu for items in this docker depends on what I'm clicking on. For pages, I can insert, duplicate, rename, or delete pages. These are the same options found in the page tabs. I also have context menu options just for layers, and of course, for objects themselves, depending on what they are. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on the objects docker. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial.